Prairie Window Acres. And so today I'm going to do something a little new. Uh, starting off with this series, I believe I'm going to call it the week, my weekly walks or something along those lines. Um, for those that are not following along or haven't been following along, I'm um, in the uh, U.S. Army and I'm now stationed in South Korea. So yeah, it's uh, Raven Wood Acres uh, abroad, right? So um, yes, I'm uh, still on the homestead. My family's there. I'm here as a geo bachelor or on a restricted tour, as the Army likes to call it. Uh, so I was been brainstorming, thinking of things that I could do to continue to create content and keep the discussion alive on my channel. Uh, so I kind of came up with this. In the future, I'll probably, uh, I got to order myself like a Bluetooth mic or something that'll work, that I can do these while I'm walking uh, instead of kind of splicing it together like I am here. Uh, so the subjects I'd, I'm going to discuss in this video will be life pauses, South Korea, because I'm here. And, um, you know, figure I'd just talk about it a little bit. And Gorilla Gardening. I know you just wait for that one. We'll explain a little bit more uh, at the end of the video here. So life pauses. They happen to all of us. So they could be because of your career. You know, it doesn't. you don't have to be in the military to have to travel for work. A lot of people's professions require them to do so. Uh, sometimes it's only weeks or months. Uh, and worst cases, you know, on this year, years or year. Um, I, I would say that I, I believe probably a lot of people's tendencies when they're out, out and about like that is just to, you know, kind of bury themselves in the work because they don't have anything else to, uh, you know, distract them. Uh, and and I, you know, I found myself doing that a little bit. But what I'm trying to do here is make the most of the situation and find ways to better myself. Um, if you followed my channel at all, I did a video on, you know, um, uh, emergency preparedness while abroad, right? I demonstrated or showed some of my emergency communications equipment. And there'll be some more to follow that. I am a FCC uh, or like FCC licensed amateur radio operator, but you don't have to be. There's a lot of things you can do to uh, just monitor what's going on for good situational awareness. Uh, I've tried to um, move to more to the uh, low carb diet. Uh, you know, to improve my health. I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm not young anymore, and um, the anything I can do to continue to improve my health will extend my life. Uh, well, at least hopefully. <laughs> but uh, all right, so you know, I think if you're in those situations, you just you need to get creative and find things to do. And you know, it could be reading about a subject you're fascinated with, uh, listening to uh, audio audible books and things like that and uh, which i do that too uh, but i did that in the states also so i don't want to beat that up let's move on to south korea so uh, those of you who are not familiar with south korea uh, it's a fairly small country um, most people probably hear about because of the news with north korea and we're not going to talk about that today uh, you know uh, it's just not that I want to entertain. So we're talking about 38,000 uh, around, well, actually we're closer to 39,000 square miles, which is <clears throat> a lot of the smaller states in the U.S., like Indiana, South Carolina, um, uh, I think there's a few of Maine are kind of in that 30,000 category miles, square miles, or uh, those that are, you know, use the metric system, 100,000 uh, kilometers square kilometers um with a population in the last report i think it was 2019 around 52 million people um to give you some context for that the whole west coast oregon or washington oregon in california california being the most populated uh, i don't even think add up to that <laughs> that's um so yes very population dense and that that they also you don't really see single family homes here. Most people live in apartment style homes. And, and when I say apartments, they're usually high rise style of apartments. Uh, so that, you know, some don't even have balconies. Many don't, uh, you know, my, my, the building I live in, uh, is nine stories. Um, and I live in an apartment it's, it's on a, a military base, but it's, it's apartment building basically, um, <clears throat> is, a uh, you know, no balcony or anything like that. Um, 
They were a very healthy population. They loved to hike and walk. Uh, their, their food's excellent. I love their food. Uh, the, some people might not, but I do. Um, uh, the If you give them some dirt, they're going to plant vegetables in it. They're going to plant fruits and vegetables. Uh, so yeah, super healthy. Uh, you want to go for my runs, uh, you know, uh, you know, during the week, early in the morning, um, six, six, six thirty in the morning. They, uh, they're, they're out and about walking. Uh, the, the trails, there's hundreds of miles of trails paved, you know, as you see here in the video, uh, all this trail, this trail goes for, I don't even know how many miles I haven't even mapped it all out, but I, I could go forever. It was just a short three mile walk for me, uh, just to get out and about for me to kind of like suck in some nature, even though you, if you see there in the video, I'm right in the city, but it's, you're down in that, that, uh, right next to the Creek or river and there's beautiful flowers and shrubs and so on and so forth. So. That leads me to the uh, grill gardening. Uh, oh, well, let's back up for a second. Um, COVID restrictions. They, you know, all politics aside, uh, you know, I don't, you know, the comments, whatever, but you just remember I am here as uh, a U.S. military member, as a guest in this country. Therefore, uh, I'm not going to, you know, it doesn't matter what I believe personally, I'm not in the United States. I'm here in their country. I'm going to follow the rules. Uh, so masks all the time off, off our military installation. Um, so, and we have our own restrictions of being in the military, but we're, we're not going to get into that either. Uh, I won't, it's not what this channel's about, but, um, it, it is a little, you know, just kind of sucks it uh, you know you can only get like four people who go out to a restaurant together to you know to eat lunch dinner or whatever um and um you uh um they, you know they're oh and a lot of the places are actually all the places i think they have curfew basically not a curfew but all the restaurants and things like that stores have to be closed by 10. i i believe like some of like the grocery like because they do have like you know convenience store type of things that are like 24 hours you know kind of like in the states so um you know it is what they their their government is looking at lifting some restrictions and one could argue i mean I think they've only had 2,000 deaths in this country from COVID uh, at 52 million people. Uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, so, grill gardening, right? What is it? Uh, I don't know who coined the phrase. Uh, I, I could probably do a little research to find out. But the, the whole point of it is, like in the U.S., like a lot of cities, urban areas, and stuff like that, but abandoned, abandoned homes or lots and things like that that, that aren't being used. So people would go and just plant some stuff in there and then boom, you got vegetables, fruits and vegetables, whatever. Um, as you saw here along in the video, I'm walking along that whole area there and there's, there's miles and miles of it. Um, and there's lots of vegetation, beautiful flowers and things like that. And insects, it's, it's, it's great. Uh, but nothing that's edible that I know of. And that's another life skill I could learn or another light thing I could add to my, you know, things to do to better myself is learn about some of their, um, local varieties of things that, uh, that are edible. Um, but I thought about, I know I talked about earlier about following rules, right? I don't think the grand scare, they love, they love plants. Uh, maybe just throwing some goji seeds, to, you know, or some starts. I could start here in my hydroponic setup, throwing them in next spring. I don't know. We'll see. It does. The weather gets here super hot. A wet season is during the summer. It's like monsoon season. Like right now, it's just absolutely pouring. That's I had to get this walk in. I'll show the radar there. I had to get this walk in before I uh, before it to start pouring because it's supposed to be pouring for the next. Uh, well, it's the third of July. Uh, tomorrow's Fourth of July. Happy Independence Day to you Americans. Um, it. Uh, it's supposed to be porn like all day tomorrow. So I definitely wanted to get, get out and about. So probably be stuck. And then when I say porn, it's going to be torrential. Like they're supposed to get like three inches of rain in a 24 hour period or less. So, um, either way, I digress, um, plant things, grow things. Hey, don't forget to, uh, like, subscribe, follow, 
Uh, follow me on my other social media uh, platforms. Check them out down below. They'll be in the description box. And, uh, and have a great day. And thanks for watching.